What's going on guys, this is Prodigy, and I'm bringing you a Black Ops 3 video today. I know, big surprise, right? But I uh, got a lot of stuff to talk about today, but uh, first and foremost, obviously, I want to give a big thank you to Thunder for uploading this video on the channel. I really appreciate that. You've been a big help to me thus far. And also, thank you to you guys for watching, because you guys helped me out a lot too, and I'm really appreciative of that. So, thank you. So, now let's get into the actual topic of the video. I'm bringing you some domination here on EVAC. Using the Dark Matter camo, obviously, I just unlocked it and I'm pretty psyched about it. So I'm using it here on the VMP. I'm thinking of using the suppressor, uh, grip, and stock on the VMP. Stock is absolutely crazy on SMG, so I really recommend it. And I really like this gameplay because my streaks absolutely go ham on this map. And so you guys are going to see that here. I'm rocking the Wraith, the Hater, and the GI unit, which is a pretty good combination there. But you, you, you guys see that connection interrupted right there? Man. And, oh, watch this lag. It's about to happen. All right, so I'm about to hop on this flag, pick up two kills, and then I'm going to run away because I feel something coming. And just look at this. Look at this. <laughs> oh, my God. I had to get out of there. That, I knew that situation wasn't going to work out for me, so I just had to leave it. Pro tips right there. If you don't like a situation, just get out of there. So anyway, what I wanted to talk about today was related to the uh, supply drops in Black Ops 3 and the crypto keys, and particularly the earn rate of them. Because lately, it feels like I'm really not earning as many crypto keys as I was when the game first launched. You know, I don't. I I hate to sit here and throw around conspiracy theories or whatever because I don't have any hardcore facts, obviously. But it just really feels like they nerfed the crypto key earn rate, and I'm not earning as many crypto keys as I used to. Because I mean, back in the day, I used to earn back in the day like it was that long ago. <laughs> but I used to get like you know three four five crypto keys per game you know if it was a pretty long game because i would play a lot of safeguard and those games could go as long as 20 minutes so if i'm playing one of those games then i could sometimes get up to five crypto keys and it was pretty nice so but i really haven't had any games like that recently and i haven't changed anything i haven't played any different game modes i haven't done anything differently you know everything's been pretty much the same but i just feel like i'm really not getting as many crypto keys and like i said i'm not trying to throw on conspiracy theories or whatever but i mean i can't just help but feel like they really slowed the earn rate of the crypto keys or whatever and watch me pop that combat focus get the nice two piece <laughs> But well, combat focus is really clutch when you're trying to go for streaks. But um, yeah. So I mean, it just like I said, I just, it just really feels like I haven't been getting as many crypto keys. I mean, if you, hey, are any of you guys feeling the same way? You know, let me know in the comments if if some of you guys feel the same way because I don't want to feel like I'm crazy. <laughs> but um, yeah. So anyways, and this got me thinking because a lot of people debate on how exactly crypto keys are earned. To my knowledge they're earned based off of the time played in the game so if you have a longer game you're gonna earn more so I really think that's a dumb system and I think that needs to change in my opinion crypto keys should be earned based on your score per minute in the game because you know it makes sense that if you play better in the game if you are more objective and you help your team more that you should get more crypto keys you know yeah it doesn't really make sense to get the same amount of crypto keys per game as a guy going 0 and 12 on your team when you're carrying the team on your back so i mean it just seems to make okay oh man this is this is the beginning guys a nice three piece right there with the streaks but watch these streaks go in man it's crazy that gi unit is crazy this game I, I, this is actually my first time using it and it absolutely destroyed man so keep an eye on that but like i was saying it only makes sense to have crypto key earn rate be based off of score per minute. You know, if you have a high score per minute in the game, you should be awarded bonus crypto keys. And I think that's fair. You know, I think that's balanced. I think that's rewarding to, you know, better or not even necessarily better, but more objective team oriented players. Unless you're playing free for all, of course. But I, I just I just think that makes more sense than just having it based off of time played, you know, because it doesn't really uh, diversify or give different people different chances to earn more crypto keys it's kind of just keeps it very slow and stagnant especially as of late because you know as I said before it really doesn't feel like I'm getting that many crypto keys these days but uh, this guy takes me off my streak I was about to get another wraith but um it's still a pretty good game though so I, I personally think that that will be a good system to go by 
And, dude, my streaks are just, look at that, three-piece with the GI unit. Man, that thing is going ham. Use the GI unit, guys, I'm telling you. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think having crypto key earn rates be based off of score per minute is a good idea? Or do you have another method that would be better? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to hear some ideas being tossed around because it's still kind of ambiguous as to how exactly it's done right now. But I think score per minute is a good idea. I think that would make everybody happy. And, you know, what do you, what do you guys think? I just want to hear what you guys have to say about it. To be honest, though, I doubt that they will make this change because it would give people more of a chance of getting the new weapons, and that's something that they would not rather do, unfortunately, of course. But, uh, you know, I really do want to get some of these new weapons. I haven't gotten any yet, aside from the Iron Gym. And I really just want the MX Grand because, I mean, I don't really necessarily care for the melee weapons. They're just melee weapons. But that MX Grand, even though, you know, it has the weird reload thing, I still want to try it because it looks like it's fun to use. But, yeah, we're probably not going to see that happen. Just like we're probably never going to see another double crypto key weekend because they want you to buy as many COD points as possible. <laughs> Uh, but that's gonna wrap up the gameplay guys. I finished 33 and 3 I believe 34 and 3 actually pretty good game Not too shabby, but if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like it's much appreciated and feel free to check out my channel You know if you guys like what you see here uh, Look at this. I finished the game with 12 GI unit kills you guys are gonna see here So that thing is pretty crazy. So once again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later